Hey there guys, so today we're gonna try out how can we upgrade a dumb shell which is our reverse shell into a full interactive shell so over here we can see that I'm running a metasploitable machine over here so we try to get a reverse shell first so over here my IP is so here's my IP Okay, so first of all, we try to get a reverse shell first. Okay, as you can see, we have gotten a connection, so we are dub dub data. So, first of all, we try to check it out. Like, we want to access the beam. Okay, as you can see, we can access it, right? But when we press enter or something like this, it will show insert like this. So, it's not a fully interactive shell right here. Okay, so we go back here. Now, we try to check and see like, tail... Where am I first? Okay, I try to... Put tail... F... Source. Like, we want to check is there any new update from it or not from the far. As you can see that... We press Ctrl C, it will directly escape from our reverse shell right so it's not fully interactive this is a dumb shell so how can we upgrade from a netcat reverse shell into a fully interactive shell so over here let's try it out again okay so we get our reverse shell first okay then we spawn a pty shell a tty shell using this one Okay, now we got the TTY shell for sudo only. We can use sudo command right here. Like this one we can use sudo command. Okay, so now how can I upgrade into a fully interactive shell? We press Ctrl Z to put it into background. And then we get our terminal first, like XTERM256 color. And then we get the detail from STTY here. We want to note down this one, the rows and the columns. So this one we need to note down and place it over here. Okay, put it over here and then this one also I need to note down because later on we won't be able to see this one. So right here we try to use STTY raw echo. Okay, then we put foreground in. Just now I've typed FG already, so right here you can't see it. Okay, enter. Now we type reset. Okay, so here you see that you need to specify the terminal type because for this for this one, the damn vulnerable web application, they can't find XTERM256 color, so it's not available in the machine. So in this case, we just use XTERM. Okay, now we go back to the reverse shell. And then we export the shell into bin bash and then we export the term into x term. Okay, clear? We can clear it. Now STY we specify the rows which is this one. Uh, 34 rows, 34 columns, 116. Okay, so now we got our fully interactive shell so we can check it out this is how we type tail f to source right okay this one no remaining file okay never mind so we try to check out with this one first the beam okay as you can see just now when i press enter the insert will goes down right but right now it won't because right now we are the fully interactive shell and then we try to use like tabs tail f war logs Apache 2 okay, Apache 2, there's anything else I'll try to check and see which one can Okay, try to access the authentication lock Okay, so Normally, when we press Ctrl C You will directly terminate our reverse shell, right? But in this case, now we are in a fully interactive shell So, we press Ctrl C, we can escape from it So, that's all for my videos guys That's how we can get a fully interactive shell From upgrading our dumb shell so thanks guys, bye bye.